take the pack one pick one smugglers cop dame a lot of times i would take force of will over any other card in this pack but that's like if i'm planning on forcing blue and i'm kind of off forcing blue this season like i don't even th think blue's the best color hey see spicy meatball thinks of four dollars and twenty cents you can only take so much music without vocals <laughs> fair enough well switch it switch it up that is the purpose of the song request and you requested a banger so first heard this track in baby driver it's uh, pretty excellent in there i rewatched that movie pretty recently it's a bummer that uh, there's like Kev kevin spacey in there so like some people like associate it with him but still one of my favorite Ed edgar wright movies great tunes a lot of cool car chase sequences just some like fantastic editing. I know like the story at the core of it. As much of a story as you can tell in a film about car chases. I think in a second pick this fire blast. I've been into it and I've been into the fire blast. Just blast it up. Used to watch the Usual Suspects. Yeah, some people some people really enjoy rewatching that movie. That's one that I didn't um, I didn't feel, find much use in in, uh, in rewatching, just because it's a twist movie. Love me a Carnage interpreter. Way more likely to wield than Chandra, but we're right on the edge of things being able to consistently wheel anyway. Like there's only gonna be three cards when the card when the pack comes back, right? So I'd rather just take the card that's better for the deck, which I believe is Carnage. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Fun to watch with friends who've never seen it. Oh yes, yeah, so you can experience it fresh through their eyes. That's legit. I'm trying to think of a twist movie that I that I still rewatch. Maybe Coco. <laughs> Maybe Coco counts as a twist movie. I've watched that movie a lot, despite it being a kid's movie or what have you. It just always puts me in a good mood. And I put it on several times when um, someone that I was with was having like a really rough time and it just like flipped their mood around too. I'm convinced that that movie is magic. Twister is the best twist movie. Pyrokinesis wheeling is a good sign. Give me more of them free spells. You smell a trophy? Yeah, right? It certainly feels like a trophy start. Throw a few moxin in here. <laughs> I just realized that Spicy Meatball requested a song saying, I can only take so much music without vocals. <laughs> I think the only vocals in here are yodeling, right? <laughs> well played you think the Dungeons and Dragons movie got better on second watch interesting I enjoyed it on the second watch but I, I didn't uh, really feel like it got better or worse or, or anything just a solid film really fun wow I was saying the interpreter probably wouldn't even wheel and Chandra came back real good sign hum Delayed Blast Fireball. Uh, I've liked it. I've mostly played it in like my aggro decks where it's just like I cracked out Forked Bolt or Searing Blaze. Hello. This, like all decks, is an excellent Black Lotus deck. I mean, I turn one Chandra, turn one Carnage Interpreter. Thinking about Lotus Petal. It's not currently a Dreadhorde Arcanist deck, but there are a lot of like one mana pump spells. And Red's been so open. Coco is your son's favorite movie. Your son's got good taste. It is really good, yeah. I think it's a top tier kids movie. Like, I would actually put it above... Like, the better Pixar films. And, and those are all, like, excellent films, right? 
Wally and up and all them. Ooh, I'll put like Chromebox here too. But I think the ordering of that is all whatever. Like they're all S tier movies. Yeah, Reckless Charge is perfect. I'm gonna grab that thing. Kind of what I was getting at with Dread Horde, hum. The first Dungeons and Dragons movie gets better when you don't watch it. Oh yeah, the first one was not great. I actually watched that one an embarrassing amount. Oh, we haven't played this one on stream in a while. Hey, stop buying lanes, are Nah, Smoochiolo. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to keep it mono red. If we stay mono red, then like the, the mana is better. The mana is like way better with Fire Blast, right? You Fire Blast when you've got four lands in play and you're mono red, like you still have two mountains, you can still function. You Fire Blast when you've got four lands in play and you're a Boros deck, like you just have two planes. The card just becomes worse. The deck's just worse, I think. Authority is great, though. Rad man. Would I splash fourth? I think harder route fourth. It's really good chance we wield the headliner. We just wield Chandra. I think headliner's coming back. Like, what kind of deck would want headliner but not Chandra? It's hard to imagine, right? Is this it? The greatest song ever made? Maybe top 100. Voted in a Rolling Stone? Meh. Become Immense is pretty sicko with Dread Horde. Yeah, I care more about, like, an individual person's reasoning for, like, top X lists. And you can, like, see out their logic and stuff. With polls or whatever, you lose a lot of that. Becomes less interesting to me. You put a top 100 in? I think, I think I would, too. Maybe I should write up a top 100 songs list. That could be fun. <laughs> Get a soul ring in here, too. I'm a little sad seeing Soul Ring, because with Soul Ring and Black Lotus, there's like no way I'm trophying. It's like impossible. <laughs> Hoping the champion wheels. Yeah, this has never been done, sadly. Code Breaker, Hope and Lava Dart wheels. Hmm. Hey, Bremner1, thanks for 71 months. Clogs number one. I mean, that song is pretty great. Hey, Lenny G, thanks for the sub, thanks for seven months. Inti's a great pickup. Ah. Cool. Couple of sick two drops. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Drinker of Sorrow. Thanks for 91 months. Not much reason to play the bobble. Besides prowess triggers and whatnot. Oh, what's up, Fury? I mean, turning your deck into a 39 card deck's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. It's also Grim Lava Mates or Fodder. We'll see where the deck ends up, though, right? We're not uh, we're not locked into anything yet. How do you do the blue-white deck? Lost in the finals. Deck was pretty good, pretty smooth. I haven't really liked Rampaging Ferocidon this cube season. I might just want it here to juice up the curve a little bit, though, with Sol Ring and Lotus. Ideally Invicta Cam. Ideally some easy wins. Really happy with that Ravager pickup. It's going to be sick here. We haven't seen everything we need for this Dread Horde. We might not play the Dread Horde. Oh, there's a Monstrous Rage, though. As good as Monstrous Rage has been, I almost wonder if we want Goldspan Dragon with the Soaring and the Lotus. Is the wallet too cute with Ravager? I don't think so necessarily. We have Copter there too. I'd like it better if we had Clamp. There's Inti as well. Yeah, maybe the wall is just good. Am I planning on going to any concerts anytime soon? I am. I'm thinking about Corpaclani on the 15th. 
on twenty on the twentieth, I've got uh, tickets for High Lung, and then next month is gonna be fucking batshit. Gonna be seeing Judas Priest, uh, Eternal Champion, Visigoth, and a bunch of other power metal bands like Blind Guardian. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna be a really good month. Corporate Clowning is a sick show, really. Yeah, we're like right on the edge. I think all I needed was like one person to be like, that's a sick show for me to lock it in. <laughs> that's such an easy sell. Corporate Clowny is a, um, a girlfriend band too. She's been excited to go to like pretty much everything I've suggested. But definitely more excited when I've suggested bands that she's already into. Like High Lung. She got really excited when I suggested High Lung. And Amana Marth. Amana Marth is coming to Madison. That's going to be real nice. Uh, I only want to play one of these Horizon Lands. People are telling me the Sunbaked one's better. This is a porcelain. Yeah, maybe. We might not even play the porcelain. I think I'm playing the Soul Ring as a land, too. Kind of like the Domain Dancers, but I guess the Ravager is doing something similar. Similar and better. Not sure about scrap work. It's just not very aggressive. Yeah, I, I don't really like this card. Get the Ferocidon out. What do y'all think? Do I need one more land? We have 12 actual lands here. Zero horizon lands. Yeah, we got the, we got this fire blast here. I'm going I'm trying to run like the bare minimum number of lands necessary. So the horizon lands are probably just gonna be bad. Maybe if I play one more land, then a horizon land makes sense. Maybe cut fireball off, fireball from the main deck because we have pyrokinesis and fury. I was going to turn one into robber and discard, but. Bitter Blossom, not what I expected. Can I keep it back? Can I put the Bitter Blossom back on top of their library? <laughs> this is kind of putting me in the mood to listen to some Rush. Hey, congrats, Shinji. How much for me to show up and make snide comments in the background in February? That's a year away. Kind of hard for me to plan around. If it worked in with my schedule, then like covering my flight would do it for me. The accommodation to Big T Money. Hell yeah, Shinji. <clears throat> that was sick. Yeah, right? Yeah, I felt fine with the Fire Blast because, like, we still had the Chandra out there and spitting out mana. I kind of want to turn one the Code Breaker, but I'm just, I'm just going to bow man.
I think the Codebreaker might end up getting fed to the Mox so I can Chandra next turn. This is Yes, Spicy Meatball. Same band that did um, Roundabout. Twitch chat's going to get me traveling constantly just to make sarcastic comments. Well, I should have ran out the canyon. Yeah, absolutely. Big congrats, Shinji. Indian Smuggler's Copter could be sweet together. Well, Preacher's a little troubling. Well, next turn Lava Mancer can pop the bat, and then Chandra can pop the Preacher. Man, what a fucking song, huh? What a fucking song. Am I an asshole? I mean, I can be. Most folks can't be, huh? Some people would lump ordering in with Asinine or Asshole, and other people would separate it. No. It's weird, but I'm actually going to mutt here. And then I have two draws towards my land. Huh. Well, that could have gone better, I guess. Well, we've successfully dealt with their lifelinkers. Cards are pretty good against aggro, huh? A little bit worried about all their cards. My god, reckons Gotham. Nah, eh, my auntie. Hell yeah, Optum. So, like, currently we're, like, a little bit ahead on board, but if one's got five cards in hand, right? Not feeling super confident here. Yeah, right? Even if they have a handful of lands, maybe they just, like, been at all the gicks. Murder me anyway. Courier, sure. You know what our deck was missing? Fucking Lelia. Uh, I don't think so, Jack of Lamont. I've definitely had some Gix games where 
I've been a lot to hit a bunch of nothing, but I don't think it was seven cards. Someone was watching me stream uh, Blue Black, Tempo, and Standard. And they said that I activated Gix more than anyone else they'd ever watch. <laughs> well done, Spicy Meatball. Well done. Hmm. Chandra vs. the World, I suppose. Could bring back Mud here. I don't think I want to. I had some games, uh, Gix versus like Shielded and stuff, Red Ferret. Black Mirrors, they get pretty grindy. Both players hugging a lot of cards around. Yeah, shit. I was hoping Chandra was going to get another ping or two in here. Do I have any advice for the great state of Wisconsin? Nah, just uh, hope you enjoyed here. I'm gonna get greedy and discard this Ruwala, but if I if I hit a land, I'll feel silly. I guess I'm fine with this trade, huh? I'm at five. Yeah, they probably then. Oh, they are trading. Cool. Yeah, they did a nice burst of damage out of there, out of nowhere, huh? I think one of the things that Wisconsin has going for it over other states is that uh, folks are pretty nice. People are pretty nice to one another. It's like friendly on the street. It can be pretty good for the old mentals. We do have yummy cheese and beer. There's a lot of states with yummy cheese and beer, though. I don't think that's something we have a monopoly on. The Canada effect, yeah, right? Mm. Yeah, it looks like we're dead, huh? <laughs> Almost made a go of it and after that really brutal fiery confluence. We had a little bit more life here, huh? Carnage would be amazing with them at five. Like, literally one more life. <laughs> kind of wild. Well, Fireball should be in if they're playing Bitter Blossom, right? Their Bitter Blossom's still in. The Walla was good there. I wonder if Porcelain's bad. Just kind of vulnerable, you know? Lead on Canyon. In case I draw another red source, return to Chandra here. A chance I just want a Ravager on too. Very tempting to run out Mutt and then Madness the Ravager. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're not wrong, Toby. Not bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the Shadow take four. It's fine. Did I add Carnage Interpreter to my cube? Oh, I'm definitely going to. This card fucking rules. Carnage Interpreter and um, Monstrous Rage. Bye, Mountains. Kind of a sick few turns, huh? I really like Ravager and decks that can like dump their hand like we've been doing. Oh yeah, Peter, it's not just beam. Guns N' Roses and Led Zeppelin? Oh my. Is the stream almost over? Sort of. I'm I'm trying I'm gonna try and go to midnight tonight. So I'm gonna try and get one more draft in after this one. But yeah, sort of. Gadgeteer A. Oh, hey. Where, where were you on my turn? It's fucking canyon, huh? I might want to fire blast next turn. What are my thoughts on Twin Mag in the cube? I'm not a fan of Paulson. I don't like the gameplay. Yeah, nothing against people who like playing with Twin, but it's not my favorite. Two-card combo I'd prefer over Twin? Not necessarily. I mean, I would rather play with Time Vault than Twin in the cube. But that's not me saying that I would like to play with Time Vault. It's me saying <laughs> I don't. I just don't like Twin. You play Codebreaker here, you're just like running into counters. We can get more damage in just by activating Figure and activating Lava Mancer. Time Vault's cool. It's been a while since Time Vault. I'm sure people would hate it if they brought Town Vault back. But they've kind of kind of been rotating a lot of stuff that people hate, and you know, maybe it's fine. They're just having it in cycles. I'm literally gonna lose this because this isn't a fucking mountain. <laughs> Absolutely absurd. Well, we're not dead to Kiki Jiki. It's gotta be twin. Awesome. Phew. I was so ready to die to twin there. Well, the only way we lose is. <laughs> Get this fucking canyon out of here. <laughs> 
Yeah, Lava Mancer was fucking OP that game, huh? This is a lot of mountains. One's gonna be pretty happy when we don't have much follow up. All right, where's that canyon? Let's get the canyon back in. Ready to get destroyed by a lightning bolt here. Oh, you're just drawing cards? Yeah, that's fine. I almost just took that and then I was like, wait a minute. I probably, probably want to kill that thing. Did we listen to Tom Sawyer earlier? I think we did. Well, whatever. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Skull Monkey. <laughs> Did we listen to Working Man? We could listen to some Sabbath. Hmm, that's bad for me. I drew six cards and their best play was to flip this thing. It's like not good for me, but it's still, it's still probably good for me that that's their best play, right? You think The Pass is an underrated Rush song? We should just be robbing them. Well, there's some fucking cards. All right. I don't think I've remembered the pass. Let's check it out. Yeah, they're good together. Ravager and team. Don't mind me just pay paying all the ward in the world here. that stack right so many prowess triggers like five prowess triggers on the stack we're just trying so hard to murder each other's shit too bad i can't use the soul ring to pay for both the inti and the the ravager madness oh why did i play the bobble prowess trigger huh well, hopefully I don't lose by a point of damage. I'm just losing my crit iron. I mean, if they don't tap and kill me with... Uh, with twin, then I guess it doesn't matter very much. Watch me rip Pyrokinesis without a red card to pitch. Well, I don't lose because I threw that Codebreaker away. That would be embarrassing. 
Let's show it up. Hey, Baller Donk, thanks for 45 months. Baller Donk says, what do we want? More you. What do we want? It? Ah, a couple months, maybe. <laughs> yeah, whenever it happens, huh? Yeah, right, Nooch. I'm with you there. Yeah, I have uh, moving pictures and 2112 on vinyl. Good for me, right? Moving pictures has definitely seen more spins than 2112, though. One of them no skip albums. That's a good pyrokinesis. Chrome Mox for value. Fuck. Yeah, it's your name's terrifying. Blech. At 11. I'm not feeling so good. I'm dead on board, right? Yeah, we need to find a little something, something. Even if I can activate Muta Vault, two blockers for that, block here, and just like super dead. I need to find like an answer to the gut. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so close! I'm close, close to having something here! <laughs> Fucking expensive ass clues. I'm gonna bring in Fireball, because I like Fireball versus Gut. Oh, I'm cutting this, maybe. Oh, maybe we'll want Ferocidon versus Twin, huh? It's like an onboard Twin Hoser. Oh, well. Clues should cost one mana to use. They, they cost one mana for my opponent. Pretty great. I right, no blocking me now. I have not tombstone. Potentially a bad charge might keep me from a red card for Fury. I'll play the mountain for value, but I'm about to bin it here anyway. How sick would it be to discard anger there into the Carnage Interpreter and just smack for five? I think Anger is probably good in some of these red decks. You've got Inti and Looter and stuff. Like we got a few different ways of bidding it. No one drops, no Soul Ring, no Lotus. But we do have a mess of good cards here. Yes, uh, we played like three Yes songs. We've been on a rush kick now. Oh, that's a fun riff. I feel the same, Killer Germ. I've certainly been winning a lot more with Red. Helps that particular theory.
Bye, NT. Yeah, I was thinking there was going to be a few turns that I don't activate Lava Mancer in here. And getting a 1 1 counter on it might be Dece. Could have sacked into Black Lotus Tomb. Sure. Oh, yeah, this check rocks. This attack is because they have balance in hand. They want to nuke my hand or my board. I'm just going to take the one damage. They could also about to play Wrath of God, but like the fucking one damage doesn't matter, right? They did have Wrath. Shame. I have been got. Well, they're at three, hum. You never thought you'd love Reckless Charge and Minage Cube, right? Card's sweet. If they only keep two pump spells, I'd like them to be Reckless Charge and Monstrous Rage, and then Berserk after those two. Playing the Headliner is worse if they have a counter, then just like serving and making them chump would be better. But they don't have a counter, so we win. Cool. I think we're good. I think this is what we want for the matchup. Scarlet's been impressive. Yeah, it's a sweet one. Not my favorite of the new ads. I think it's like very similar to Hellrider. And that's what it swapped in for. It is better, but it's only like slightly better in, in my opinion. Am I going to imprint Chandra? Feels weird, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Hellrider that loses to Caracas. I mean, it's also good with Caracas. And it still has a comes into play ability, right? For the rest of your team, the rest of your squad. Yeah, that track. That check ruled. I think that may be the a top rush song for me. I'm gonna need more time with it. We drew the three three to crew. Yeah, but then the wall is like a free discard off the copter, right? Maybe not now. Am I forcing mono red every draft? No, I forced mono red for like a single day. And I'm still getting that question. <laughs> I do think mono red's quite good though. So it is twin. Guess we're trying to find Fire Blast. <laughs> this can find me a, a Lotus Petal off their deck. Huh? Uh, ah, we were so close to that Flame Slash. Said not play that robber, hum. Yeah, we just fucking played against twin. But I guess we lose this game, we go to game three. White mana. 
red mana. Hard to hold back the robber. Very hard to hold it back. Especially when um, there's a chance the Ravager got to move in. Like, we hadn't seen Deceiver yet. Is this Wrath again? Hmm. I think a land's better than Lotus there. Reckless Charge plus Monstrous Rage could be sick. Uh-oh. Something big going down. Alright, they have infinite mana. What do you want to do with infinite mana? No, you were right. It's 9 awesome in a box. Monstrous Rage leaves a 1-1 counter on it, or a 1-1 aura on it. Oh, they're just showing me the walking blista and to let me know that they have infinite. Not gonna make them tap through everything. Cool. At least that twin combo took three pieces, right? Hey, just aggressive. Thanks to the sob. Thanks to 53 at four months. Seeing the Deceiver makes me want to play the Ferocidon. I didn't see what to cut. I already submitted, so. I want to send this back. We need some explosiveness. Eh, I guess. Kind of hate this opener. FTK out. FTK is pretty good against their critters. A lot of the critters are fine blockers, right? Killed Urza with it in the first game. It was pretty strong. Yeah, just aggressive sharing the prime with the 54 months. Thanks, aggressive. You think keeping Lotus could have won? How so? Soaring was a great draw. I don't know if I loot away the figure. I think I don't. I think I still play the figure. The, we lost in like a, a turn or two after that anyway, awesome in a box. I like keeping the efficient answer to deceive him. Still gotta attack through this shit, right? Still gotta try and win. Hey, Jamon, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 12 months, the full year. All these fucking riffs. Really doing it for me. This is harder to resolve. Awesome in a box. Do like counters and stuff. And you're more likely to be able to double spell with the flame slash. Your reasoning's not bad though or anything. It's just just a different preference there. Exiled cards are still face down, yeah. The only way to check what those exiled cards are is if we like crack to fetch, then we can check what's in the deck. That's the only way to tell until the end of the game. Hmm. Boo, a braid, boo. That's not bad. I was hoping for a mound of that pump figure, but. I guess this is fine. Good stuff. Hey, we got another trophy. Both trophies today. Mono red. Started the day with a trophy on mono red. <laughs> Book ending it with mono red. Let's get one more draft in. 
It's all I can win with. That's all I can win with, I guess. Maybe I should just be forcing it. 